Hey, what's going on, Jam Fam? So it's been a little while since we did any type of news videos or whatever. So real quick, we got a couple of things to talk about. We're going to go over the news that dropped today about a couple of things going on in the game. And uh, yeah, then we'll be on our merry way. This is going to be real quick. We only got a couple of things to talk about. So let's just get right into it. All right, so the first thing I want to mention, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because I literally did an entire video about this a couple of days ago, but two days ago, they announced some balance changes. I think the most impactful ones are the nerf coming to Mo. I think he's going to get nerfed into the ground because of this projectile speed nerf. It's pretty significant, and uh, it's going to change him a lot. And then I think the biggest buff is probably to Ash here. Uh, he's getting a big buff. He's going to gain more rage when he's getting damage, which is just good for him across the board. It'll help him keep his rage up most of the time. But there's a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, like I said, I already did a whole video talking about this. So if you want to go check that out, or if you already know about it, then you should be good. Uh, if you don't know about it, then you can go check out my video. I broke down each one and then gave my thoughts on it. So anyway, uh, just wanted to mention that real quick at the top in case anyone hasn't noticed. These balance changes will be live next week. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Alrighty, let's move on to the actual interesting stuff. Uh, balance changes are old news that happened two days ago. So there is a new season on us that is called Angels and Demons. Now, obviously with that, there's going to be two hypercharged skins, the Mortis skin and the Edgar skin. Well, this came across my feed the other day. This picture right here. Let me resize this. Oopsie daisy. Uh, this picture right here. It shows the breakdown of what it would cost to buy one of this entire one of these entire packs. According to them, it's going to cost 100 US dollars to make it through all of these angelic star drops and be able to unlock this skin. And that goes for Mortis and Edgar. So if you want to get it guaranteed, you have to buy all of these angelic star drops or all the demonic star drops for a hundred dollars, two thousand and six gems. And then you're guaranteed to get a skin. Now, when I did my W's and L's video, I did give the fact that we weren't guaranteed to get one of these skins an L. I was not a fan of it. Previously, we've been able to guarantee that we were going to get one of these hypercharged skins, whether that was through playing the event, getting it randomly in eggs, or just, you know, through a club event, or opening a bunch of boxes. They didn't even do that this time. Uh, there's no guaranteed way to get this unless you spend $100. My thoughts on this exactly are this. $100 for a skin in a mobile game. This is what people really hate about mobile gamings in general and microtransactions. Yes, I know there's a chance you might get it before you get to the end of the track and you might not necessarily need to spend $100 to get the skin, but they purposely made this track that long for a reason. They want you to spend all of that money to get to the end of the track to get this skin. Brawl has never been like this before and it is sad to see. And I stand by all these statements. I think it is kind of garbage that they purposely have given something that was guaranteed to us they gave it to us, not guaranteed, but at the end of a $100 track. I feel like, like I said, there's only one reason to explain why it needed to cost $100. They could have set this track at $30. They could have set it at $50. They want to keep you on that hamster wheel. They want to purposely set the drop rates low so that you can try to get through the entire thing and spend all that money and get the skin that you want because they are cool looking skins. Everybody likes it and they're on popular brawlers and I think it's a bit scummy. Actually, the same person that I saw make this post, this Rotol Noodles guy, he actually posted this meme. I don't know, again, if he made this meme or not. I have seen it on Reddit, so I don't know if he stole it from Reddit or if Reddit stole it from him, but he posted it here nonetheless. This is where I originally had seen it. Bazilla, guaranteed to get by playing the event. Uh, Sovereign Rico, guaranteed to get by playing the event. And then Demonic Mortis and Angel Edgar, pay $100 or pray to RN Jesus. And that is literally the situation that we're in. You were guaranteed to get hypercharged skins previously. We had that precedent set. We all expected that. And then they dropped two in one season and you can only get it by RNG or pay $100. There's no if, ands, or what. And if you want both, $200. Good luck. Sucks for you, man. I'm going to say this right now. Spending $100 to get a skin is insane. It's a mobile video game. It's a skin. It's definitely not worth it. I don't care how much progression you tie to it. That's $100 for a skin in a mobile game. Like, come down to earth, man. Like, no one wants... Times are hard enough. I'm not spending no $100 for a skin. It's crazy talk. It's crazy talk, man. All right, I said today was going to be a quick video, and we got our last bit of news to talk about today, and that's going to be the glitch that was going on with Spike. So basically, there was a glitch with Spike where if you ran Fertilizer and you had the Demon Fire star power, you were unkillable. The Demon Fire would heal Spike, much like the Fertilizer would from his super, and as you can see, he's getting beat up by this Edgar here, and the Edgar cannot take him down. He's actually not even losing HP. It was honestly crazy. Uh, so that was what was happening yesterday. Well, Brawl Stars put an end to that very quickly and uh let me blow this up a little bit first things first they want to mention is that spike has been disabled from the game you 
can no longer play Spike for the time being. He will come back eventually, but as of right now, Spike has had to be disabled because of this glitch. It was game breaking. It was not fun to play against and Spike is gone. Rest in peace, Spike. So basically Brawl Stars plan right now is they disabled Spike. The demon fire exploit was ruining the game. They are going to try a different way to fix it that doesn't require maintenance, but it will require a rotation of the servers that are live. So basically we're gonna have to wait a couple days for them to roll out some kind of patch. That way they can do it without taking the entire game down, which honestly, in my opinion, take the game down. Take it down for an hour, fix it, bring it back up. Don't wait a couple of days and disable somebody's favorite brawler. I think it's ridiculous that they don't wanna do that, but this is the world we live in. Uh, there was a glitch with Miko as well. Here, I'll pull that up real quick. Give me one second. Now, they haven't deactivated Miko, but he is able to use Demon Fire to 100% obliterate a siege turret. All he has to use, all he has to do is use his super and just hover, hover over it because the fire trails with his super. So he just sits here and spams while being untouchable. It builds up a bunch of fire and then it kills the siege turret. So because of this glitch, they're not going to be fully removing Miko, but what they're going to be doing instead is that they're going to be disabling the Angels vs. Demons modifier on Heist and Spirit Wars, so you can't abuse it for free trophies on your Miko. At least Miko's not being fully removed. Again, I would like to see them take the whole game down and just fix the bugs instead of, you know, just having this existent and just doing like little band-aids like this. But again, not my call. I just play the game. So what they're going to end up doing, and I assume they're going to roll these fixes out with this stuff up here, is that they're going to make it so Demon Fire does less damage to turrets and safe than it does now. So it's still going to damage them, but it's going to do reduced damage. And honestly, I don't know what number they're going to set it at to make it do like not damage, like not enough damage to melt the safe. But if it feels like there is no number that's low enough because you can just infinitely spin on the safe and just cause it to do an infinite amount of damage. So uh, I don't know if there's an actual safe way of doing this here, but it seems like this is a very hard bug to fix. We'll end up seeing what happens, but as of right now, I'm just skeptical about this fix at all. They also say here that they're going to be removing Spirit Wards from the contest as well, so I assume that has to tie with the Demon Fire issues. So uh, again, we already talked about that. So Spirit Wars is also not going to be in the contest for all these same reasons, probably because the Angels and Demons modifier has to be enabled on the contest. Otherwise, it's not really like special or anything. So that's what I'm guessing. But good news is, as compensation, we're going to be getting three Angelic and three Demonic Star Drops for free from this as the maintenance rolls out. So at some point next week, we should be getting three of each. So that's six drops in total. So at least there's a fair bit of compensation. But again, it does suck if you wanted to push Spike. If you were a big Spike fan and you wanted to push him, he's now disabled. You can't abuse this anymore. Now, I'm not saying it's bad to disable him because of the fact that there was a glitch. Obviously, you shouldn't be able to abuse glitches for free trophies. That's not fun. But what I'm trying to say is that it's bad that instead of just eating crow and fixing the game, they're taking the brawler away entirely, which I think sucks for people that want to play their brawler. So that's going to be the news. Like I said, it's going to be short and sweet today. Not a whole lot going on other than the big news of Spike being removed. Like I said, balance changes next week. Keep an eye out for those. If you need like more info on that, I did a whole video talking about my thoughts about it. So you can go check that out if you want. Uh, also, like I said, it's going to be $100 apparently to buy out one of those guaranteed hypercharge skins. Again, that sucks. It's $100 for a skin in a mobile game. It's a bit of a joke. I don't know why they feel like comfortable doing that but I'm definitely not going to be buying it. So that sucks. And the last thing, of course, was Spike being removed and all the bugs going on in the game right now. So it's kind of crazy that all this is happening, um, but it's not like unexpected. There's always bugs and glitches and stuff like that in these updates lately, it seems like. And uh, while the game is doing good and it's getting bigger, these game breaking bugs are crazy. And I, I feel like they should just, like I said, just take the game down for an hour or two, do the update, fix it, and then bring it back up because removing your favorite brawler from the game sucks. If you were an Ash main back in the day, you know what that feels like because Ash got removed for like literally two weeks, which was crazy. Anyway, let me know what you think about all this stuff down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed my yapping. Anyway, like I said, that's going to do it. I'm going to be doing a Juju video the next couple days, so keep an eye out for that. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. want to thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video if you liked it. Uh, if you're new, consider dropping a sub as well. But I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Peace. Bye.